All right, so I've lived here my whole life. And um, you, you three have been involved in just about any activity or anything that goes on. And Paul, I don't want to embarrass you on camera, but you did coach me in Colt Link. So, uh, <laughs> um, but y y you've had your mark and everything. So how does that, how does that, where do you get that passion to do all the things that you've done for and with Bay Village? What, what drives that? You know, for me, I spent uh, 20 years uh, coaching baseball in Bay Men's Club. And, um, and I started when my son was two years old or three years old or something doing it. And it was because, first of all, I love baseball. And, um, but it was something that was for the community. It was to help the kids. I loved working with these kids. And uh, for 20 years, it was just, and it was tough to walk away from it uh, after 20 years. But uh, you met these kids, you see these kids today uh, that you know, like yourself. <laughs> uh, and it just, it brings joy to you. And you don't do it for any, you know, anything else other than personal joy. Right. And knowing that you're doing something for the city. Absolutely. Um, so, Historical Society, the Alumni Association, what other things? Just give me some ideas of other things you guys have been doing. You've been an auxiliary policeman for how long in the city? Um, I've been an auxiliary policeman for, 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 I hate to, 43 years. 43 years. Come on, Paul, you're not that old. After 43 years. So, but that that's that's, that's every parade. that's every parade. That's, that's parade. most games. That's yeah. you know the activities Storms. that are going on. That's all your private time. I mean, that's time Storm, that you right. could be sitting back watching it, and you're out there in the middle of winter. You're out there that kind of. That's a big commitment. And you're seeing uh, you see a lot of things that you wish you didn't see. Yeah. Um, but um, you know you're there and you just handle it. Yeah. Um, think some of the stuff you see <clears throat> sticks with you for for years. Yep. Uh, you know, and a lot of your activities are with Bay Villagers. Yeah. Your neighbors, your friends, your longtime associates. And uh, so when you, if you resettle in Bay after your way to school or to the service or whatever takes you and you are fortunate enough to come back to Bay Village, it's very easy to become involved. And uh, uh, I enjoy being involved in the historical society and um, my church, Bay Methodist Church, I'm involved with that. Uh, I'm involved with uh, uh, the foundation of Bay School uh, organization, and I also am a, on the board at the Knickerbocker, which is a marvelous facility that many people in Bay Village really don't pay much attention to, but yet it provides. Uh, Housing for 160 people uh, on a, a HUD-funded program, and it's a very worthwhile activity. And similar to everybody, there's no pay for this involvement, uh, but it is the love of your community. And it's Bay important. Bay Village is easy to love. Absolutely. You know, it's funny. I was in eighth grade in that old high school, middle school, when they got the snorkel because of the building of the Knickerbocker. Sure, yeah. And I remember it was such a big moment that we got that hook and ladder uh, fire truck. All right, we're gonna pick up in a second.